हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू अनदर क्यू एन ए एपिसोड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वुड लाइक टू थैंक एवरी वन हु शोज अ ट्रमेंडस सपोर्ट ऑन आर क्यू एन ए सेशन यस्टरडे आई पोस्टेड द कम्युनिटी पोस्ट एंड टिल नाउ विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स वी हैव ऑलमोस्ट सिक्सटी वन क्वेश्चन आई ट्राई टू आंसर ऑल द क्वेश्चन इन दिस वीडियो सो इफ यू गाइज आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल एंड इफ यू फाइंड आर वीडियो इज हेल्पफुल टू यू डू कंसिडर सब्सक्राइबिंग टू अर चैनल नाउ लेट्स नॉट वेस्ट मच ऑफ टाइम बिकॉज वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम अंकुर हुई सेज गुड मॉर्निंग सर हाउ आर यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम रियली गुड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग ब्रदर So he is saying, if I give you three smartphones like OnePlus Nord CE4, nothing phone two A, Moto Edge 50 Fusion, which would you pick? See, Moto Edge 50 I am not used at all. If I consider these two phones, one is nothing phone two A and Nord CE4. So practically for daily usage and you know for gaming also, I'll pick Nord CE4. And I'm not getting biased here because I've seen that device performing better than nothing phone two A. And guys, I'm saying that everyone is asking, brother, how are you? So first of all, thanks for asking, and I'm doing really good. I hope even you guys are doing well. I won't be saying the same thing in every comment, so I'll directly take up the questions, which will help us to finish the video quickly. So I'm really sorry, but once again, thanks for asking. So another user is asking that I had given him an application of animation, but today OnePlus 11R users got an OTA update, so should I uninstall the APK and download the update or not? It's not required to uninstall the application; it's the same version what you get via OTA. But for your satisfaction, if you want to uninstall, you can uninstall, but it won't matter much because the same version you will be getting with the OTA update also. The next user says, can I update my OnePlus? 12R to the latest May security patch. As you said, there is cut down in the base from speakers. Does the base drastically reduce or bit? See, the reduce of base is very minimal, and it's hard to find out until and unless you closely monitor the base before and after the update. So you can update your device with no issues. Then another user is asking which device to buy is OnePlus 11 versus OnePlus 12R. See, I right now I would say go with OnePlus 12R because it do have higher capacity battery and it's a new phone, so go with OnePlus 12R. Then another user is saying OnePlus 11R latest update they have released is 14. 14.1 no they haven't released 14.1 and they have not mentioned about the battery optimization and camera improvement see OnePlus 11R is a quite old device now and don't expect any kind of improvements related to camera mostly battery optimizations can be done with the upcoming updates but camera improvements are not expected then manoj says at which month can we expect oxygen os 14.1 update so 99% this month will be receiving oxygen os 14.1 update then madhu says recently oppo released a 25 megapixel camera mode in find x7 Ultra, will this feature come to OnePlus? See, we can't say whether this feature will come to OnePlus, but if the hardware is supported, they might add this feature. Then Rohit is asking about iPhone videos like review of iOS updates. iOS 18 is also about to come. I do have iPhone 15 Pro Max. Kept idle. I'll start using their device once iOS beta starts to roll out. Then Bully is asking about animation fix on OnePlus Nord CE in the Oxygen OS 14.1. 14.1. No, there are chances, and even I'm expecting that Nord CE 4 will get slight improvements when it comes to animation. So let's wait and watch what OnePlus will bring with the Oxygen OS 14.1. Then Ravid says OnePlus 12R have some base issues. After this latest May security patch update, is there any chance that they will fix in future in the audio department? OnePlus 12R slightly. disappoints me and yes brother i did mention about the base issue so let's see if you guys can provide a feedback to oneplus they should fix that issue with the future updates then madhuri says please compare nord 3 against latest rivals like poco f6 and tell us how much is the difference when someone buys an old phone so yes there is a video planned about nord 3 and poco along with other phones which i have in that price segment so stay tuned mostly this week i'll release that video ronak is asking about oneplus 12r support bgmi at 120 fps right now it doesn't support but we might see 120 fps support with oneplus smartphones with upcoming builds or you can say updates then star has a question which phone and tab should i buy i am going abroad for studies budget is 70k all together for both no problem with heating mostly notes making presentation and multimedia can s23 ultra do both phone as well as tab yes go with s23 ultra it can fulfill all your requirements then another user has a question related to refresh rate of oneplus 12r that it doesn't work with low brightness though it has the ltpo panel see i have also mentioned in previous videos like LTPO displays this is how they work if you lower the brightness the refresh rate doesn't go to 1 hertz or you know uh, 30 hertz there's a specific level of brightness where LTPO panel works perfectly fine then pramod is asking about the upcoming features in oxygen os 15 so there are few features which i have heard from some insiders and few of the features are like you will be able to customize the alert slider you will get the lock screen customizations and i have also heard that oneplus is also planning to add desktop mode and when we talk about the ai features AI 
AI Razor, AI Summary in Recording and Implementation of Google's Gemini. So these are the few features which I am expecting will be added with Oxygen OS 15. Then Pranesh is asking about the same question 14.1 release. So mostly for OnePlus 12 series, 14.1 will be released this month. Then Omit says, uh, so my question is which brand will you recommend IQ or OnePlus as you have used both the device but don't be biased on OnePlus side. I know they are great but after the merge they are only focusing on software. I won't be biased and I am never biased when you know if someone is asking me an opinion because OnePlus isn't paying me for all these things. I buy all the devices myself so it doesn't matter if I you know uh, give negative points to uh, OnePlus or some other brand. It completely depends on the requirement. OnePlus as you all know it's doing great with the software and if you buy their latest device hardware is also quite good. I won't say quite good they are flagship level but brands like IQ they more focus on the performance part. They come completely ignore the software department. Here with OnePlus, there are two things. They also focus on hardware and they also focus on software updates. What I have been seeing after the ColorOS code base merge. Then Pawan Kumar is saying that OnePlus 12R has some battery issues after the May security patch. Personally, I haven't used OnePlus 12R right now, but very soon I'll be dropping a detailed review of OnePlus 12R with this latest update. And in the same thing, you have also asked about that alarm update. If you haven't received that update, you can use Oxygen OS Updater application to update that device. Crack is asking about uh, lock screen customizations on 14.1. Mostly, 99% we may get to see some lock screen customization on 14.1. Then Sundar is asking about uh, which device is best, OnePlus Nord CE3 or Nothing Phone 2A. Here I would say go with Nothing Phone 2A. Then Ajay is asking about OnePlus के Oxygen OS 14 में System Services के अंदर AI Service Engine है उसका क्या use है So basically ये Artificial Intelligence Services को support करने के लिए और कुछ नहीं Then Nitesh says Bro what is the difference between another smartphone and OnePlus What is special in OnePlus smartphones See OnePlus smartphones right now I would say after merging with the ColorOS code base few people are not liking that but trust me the software optimization I would say it's even better than Samsung's One UI 6.1 So that matters a lot Then Shitish is asking about 11 11R.800 uh, version update review. See, I don't have 11R and I cannot afford to buy every device of that particular series. So I try to keep only one device and uh, about review. So I won't be able to do that review. Then Dinesh says, my OnePlus 12 had a problem in Amazon Prime video. When I start watching content, that time when I press the volume up or down button, the video has been contrasted. What I feel is you must be playing some HDR video. And this usually happens with most of the smartphones. Whenever the volume panel pops up, you'll see slight changes in the colors of that video. Then Pratap says, uh, just wanted to ask that I still did not get the animation update engine on OnePlus 12 via OTA. When can I expect? See, OTA updates are quite slow now. It's always like that. Stage rollouts are quite slow. It might take few days to few months. But if you can't wait, then use Oxygen OS Updater application, which is completely safe. Pranav is asking about any release date of Nothing Phone 3 and Nothing OS 3. And what are your thoughts on the recent video of Carl Pai? See, first of all, I haven't watched that video of Carl Pai. And talking about Nothing Phone 3 and Nothing OS 3.0, I still don't have any kind of information related to that. Vimal is asking about, sir, any new AI features will come to OnePlus 12. I've already mentioned that brother which all AI features are expected on OnePlus 12. Then another user says like OnePlus 11 में latest update के बाद जो app use करते हैं उसे direct close करके app drawer खोलते हैं तो वो app recents में direct खुलता है उसे कैसे off करें पहले एक बार आप check कर लो कि वो app logged तो नहीं है अगर जो logged नहीं है तो maybe कोई bug होगा जो upcoming updates में fix हो जाएगा then Datta is asking about is there any green line issue on OnePlus 12 series right now I haven't seen any kind of issues related to green line on OnePlus smartphones mainly on OnePlus 12 series Jaya Lakshmi is asking about Realme GT60 review so we are running out of cash so I'm not planning to buy this device and then next question is from Jad who says my question is should we consider hardware over the software in the phones what are your thoughts on this see I would never consider hardware over the software because they are equally responsible if you get a good hardware for example I'll take example of more to H50 Pro. Its hardware and camera is quite good but lack of software support that device has so many issues which Moto is not fixing and that's the reason I say software is equally responsible for a good smartphone. Then Bravo says have been using Oppo from 60 now using OnePlus 11 never ever had such a bad experience layer to battery drain it's only me or it's common for OnePlus 11 users. See there are possibilities it might be a bug for once what you can do 
try to reset your device if you have got the latest update and for one or two cycles make sure you charge your device up to 100 and when the battery is below 10% again charge it to 100% hopefully you might see slight improvements in the battery and summers are also the main reason a lot of users are complaining about the battery drain then another user is saying like as I mentioned in the previous video like OnePlus 12 will be getting features named live photo what does that mean see live photos if you have ever used iPhones and there are some other brands like Samsung also have that photo like whenever you click a photo there will be a preview of two to three seconds that's what we call live photos and the previous q a video i have asked you for turning on the lock screen when the notification comes i mean the aod the solution you told i enabled and still the lock screen pops up again and again so in this case what you can do i think i'm not able to understand what you're saying just draft a video and send on a telegram group i'll let you know over there oxygen os 15 kab aega so mostly oxygen os 15 within two to three months some logo dekhne ko mil jayega unke flagship smartphones pe. then mohan has a question that how to turn off automatic fingerprint recognition on sleep screen see there is no requirement to turn it off because it's a feature what we are using there's only option either you can disable it completely use pattern or something else then uh, next question from you is uh, what is i'm not able to pronounce this application in oneplus so let me check out whether this application is there on my oneplus smartphone or not okay so this application is present or even on my oneplus 12 so it's basically designed to optimize and manage the background activities for smoother experience so don't worry about it and don't disable it if you want good performance on your device. And the last question is from Anand who is saying what's the technical justification behind stop charging at 80% then what's the point of having 100% for the battery level see i think you need to actually study about it because it is a very useful feature basically this feature reduces the oxidative stress on batteries electrodes you can search this on google you will find everything related to this so guys these were all the questions which you guys asked us on the community tab i hope i have answered everything if i missed out do let me know in the comment section below this is your friend ashok signing out see you guys in the next video